Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sleepy Druid, and welcome back to Primordia. So, last time we got a bunch of shit, and I personally don't know what to do next. There's so, to ask Crispin. In this city can judge Oswald and case. Wait, what? Oh no, did it, didn't it save the last time? Oh, thank God, I did that already. Time to give Gimbal his motor back, right, Bob? Gimbal his motor back. Gimbal, Gimbal. Who was Gimbal? Boss, did you ever consider that? Could you, for once, is this Gimbal? Time to give Gimbal his. Mo I know Gimbal is not a traitor. Gimbal. Motor. Give you a motor. You leave line, right? Yes. Hmm. Whoa, oh, cool. Oh no. Huh. Oh, cool. Had I known this is so easy. Sometimes it's nice to just be along for the ride. <laughs> so I didn't look that up. I looked something up that I need to do. But I don't remember what it was exactly. Because I was stuck. I didn't knew this was her motor. I think I need to talk to the floater, isn't it? I've never had to talk to a lamp before, boss. I've got no practice. Okay. So you need practice. Is it that? Horatio Null built version five. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's good. Perfect. Give me just my thing. That welcome can be taken away. Oh no, it can't. Oh, I show you how I. Great robot, can you? Distortion. Okay, he ha he says because I need something to do with the lamp, and I'm r r talking crap again. Hey, Crispin, how about practicing on this lamp? Oh, good idea. Ah. Okay, here goes. You really light me up. Oh, no. really? Okay, okay. <laughs> Trust me. I know how to turn on a oh, light. Oh god damn it. Definitely not. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's enough practice for now. Should be enough, shouldn't it? So, um what I wanted to say is I looked up the thing with the lamp, how he can flirt with her. Cause now he should be able to, shouldn't he? Alright, Crispin, it's now or never. Aww. Whoa, that was so easy. Oh, he has little hearts for eyes. Wingman. She gave me a clipping of her copper wiring. Hey, that wire belongs to the city. That's coming out of your salary. You tell him. With a clipping for a copper wiring. Feudal. For what do I need copper wiring? There's no reason to cut. There's no reason. Feudal. Feudal. How would that even work? I have copper wiring. I have nothing to say to him. But for what? What do I have copper wiring now? I haven't looked further than that. Because I will actually play the game myself unless I get like, stuck real bad. Which was the case last episode. How did I get the motor of Gimbal? I still don't know. I am waiting. Yeah. That's never going to work. Okay. What do I have? It's an ink. Some short strands of copper wiring. Oh well. That's enlightening. I am waiting. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, you're waiting. 
Okay. Can I pay you with that? That doesn't seem logical. But I doubt that will happen. Maybe um, our friend, the merchant, has something. Uh, before I, mm, God damn it. doesn't matter. Leopold, hey. Let me see if I'm taking a look. Part, small motor, finger, plug card, water chip, servo unit, abacus. I have no need for anything. That there's an old noble robotic subsistence. Uh huh. Uh huh. Not interested. Okay. Look, boy. Bring me something that'll cover a face and it's yours. That's a water chip. I'll drain it for a gag. You want it? You're gonna need to bring me a glass. Of that servo unit is hopeless. We're not looking to pick up. Boss, is that another battery? <laughs> Looks like it. Finest double A battery you'll ever see. You may as well call it too. Wow, that would have been useful to have before oh. I went rummaging around a pile of tires in the junk pile. Now, not so much. Thank God. We don't need a drain. Cairo, I'm gonna do us all a favor and not drain. Oh yeah, there was something weird about this. Okay, so I'm done with you, but what do I need the thing for? Large hatch vehicles. Was it for you? I have nothing to say. Yeah, but I can give him How the. That even... Crispin. There's no way I can reach. Them. No, Crispin. Hey, boss, a light bulb just went off for me. A big neon light bulb that says info. I bet that kiosk would have some information about local. Lo Ooh. Why can't I? Oh no. Did he? Oh yeah, he blocked my path. Okay. Crispy, crispy, what have you done? Just found your lo first love and already. Oh shit. Uh, oh, oh, I can enter. Ooh. Uh, Metro Mind welcomes you to her city of Metropole. System records indicate. Law. Ooh. Hey, look, something came out of the machine. Metropolitan law, metropolitan law is too vast for an ordinary robot to learn in full, but Metromind ensures that it is applied efficiently and fairly. Newcomers to the city should familiarize themselves with the Corrupt Data Elimination Plan, topic CDEP, and the Refuge Rule, as well as the Efficiency Initiative, CDEP. Corrupt Data Elimination Plan In order to protect the city from corrupt data, Metromind and the Ad Hoc Robot Council passed the CDEP on the which all information relating to certain untrue subjects, such as the mythological man, is subject to swift elimination. Physical media containing such data will be disposed, uh, disposed of in the Underworks Quarantine Zone. Uh, efficiency initiative. That way? Oh, yeah, nice. Efficiency initiative one. The efficiency initiative was enacted by Metromind following a period of power shortages caused by system systematic failures or systemic failures of city planning. Metromind recognized. The the city along progressive ideals, closing off entire areas and consolidating the population in the city center. Moreover, Metromind identified, Metromind identified and eliminated wasteful practices and inefficient robots. In order to show his commitment to the common good, Factor volunteered to deactivate himself and many similarly obsolete robots followed suit. Since the initiative was enacted, power levels have been stable, but Metromind is always looking for progressive means of improving efficiency. Oh, but that's not really good. Can I... can I... Ah, okay. Um, welcome... History and landmarks... landmarks... 
Landmarks. In order to conserve energy and improve efficiency, only the city center is now accessible to metropolitan robots. Here, one can find the famed council tower rising high above Metropole. The old courthouse and the historic central station, as well as Metropole's main street. For safety's sake, do not enter the underworks. I don't need a his history. Oh, wait. History. Maybe this can help. History. History. Metropole was built in layers by primordial robots, each generation improving on the last in an endless train of progress. At one time, the city was governed by a council, but by mutual agreement, so power was bestowed upon Metromind, for whom the city is now named. I c kinda doubt that. Uh, law. CEDP, efficiency, the refuge rule. Refuge Rule 1. Immediately following the Primordium, Metropole enacted the Refuge Rule, under which any robot is welcome in the city. In fact, for the first 48 hours after a robot arrives in Metropole, it will not be punished for violations of any laws except for harming another robot or causing significant property damage. The purpose of this law is to provide an in integration period during which newcomers can make whatever modifications are necessary to operate within metropolitan society. Oh god damn it. Uh, CDP, refuge rule, I read about the initiative. Metromind. Metromind is the guide guardian and eponym of Metropole. Empowered by the, by the ad hoc robot council to steer the city toward progress and a bright future, Metromind has led with great efficiency and clear logic. She shares energy, parts and raw materials with all robots, asking only that they share processor cycles in exchange to help advance the common good. Thanks to Metromind, the city has followed an unbroken path of progress. Let me... Uh, refuge rule. There was something about... What was it? Primordium. 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 The Primordium was the historical age when basic machines developed into modern robots with advanced logic and processing capacity. Little is known about the period, though archaeo technolog Archaeotechnologists seek to uncover its secrets in the name of progress. Primordium can be used to describe any period of great advancement. Okay, what if I do this? Whoa, that's get me actually. Info. No such topic. Okay, okay, okay. Print out. I have a print. Oh, okay. It was th this was a waste of time apparently. Print out of the law what? Of you, a metropolitan. It's written by Clarity Arbiter Belt. It oh. explains about the refuge rule and says that for the first 48 hours after a robot mm. arrives in Metropole, it will not. Mm. Now I understand. Now I understand. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my cup of milk, actually. Not coffee this time. Mm -mm. I, are, I have something for you, my friend. Look here. Under huh. Metropole's refuge rule, a newcomer to the city is not liable for any superficial property damage caused within the first 48 hours of his arrival. Should have connected that before reading all of that shit. Well, sir, I'll be crashed. I shot that building pretty good. Are you sure? I think so. There's nothing more to say to him. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Maybe I can find something. About property damage. I'm going to go to, um. Baby. To our baby. But before that, property damage. Recent. War of the Four Cities. Fragmentary data describes a great primordial conflict among a four cities, of which Metropole was one. The other cities, Urbani, Civitas, and Municipa, are believed to have been destroyed. Of them, 
Urbani, Urbani was the greatest threat to Metropole, but its most dangerous weapon was destroyed by Metropole's guardian, Goliath. Goliath. Goliath is a massive warbot built to guard Metropole from all dangers. He is stationed in the dunes outside the city. Horus. Because I just remembered we are Horus. Horus. A single packet of data created during the Primordium describes an Urbanian weapon known as the Horus that was launched against Metropole. Some archaeotechnologists, I will never get used to that word, believe that the Horus was destroyed by Goliath. Others believe the reference is simply a glitch or corruption in the ancient data. Horatio. Man. Humans, a mythological creature invented to explain the existence of the first basic primordial machines. <laughs> Logic has proven that progress, not man, explains the development of robots and the creation of Metropole. Uh, yeah, okay, that's actually again a nice parallel to our, to our own world. I have a question, my dear. I have a piece of paper. Could you please sign that for me? I have nothing to say to her. Mm -mm. Feudal. Mm. What is the couple wiring him? That's never. At least I now have some stuff. Okay. Let me try to use. So I can't use the couple wire on Leopold. I can't use the couple wire on anything down here. Better just to leave it alone. Yeah. I can't use. Huh. Crispin. We've gotta find a way to clear the line to get into the courthouse. Because honestly, I refuse to wait in line. Not even for a power core. Not even for a gynoid. <laughs> well, maybe for a gynoid. Why do you keep asking me to figure things out? I'm yeah. just a side. Don't you think we should go check out where 187th shot up the tower? Why? Maybe he blasted away in for us. Oh, Why? That doesn't make any sense. There's a track. There's no holes in here, at least. It's far too high. Track, door, console. Would I have a key card, haven't I? Key card, yeah. Can't I just use the key card? Feudal. Okay. Okay, let me go to the station. Where maybe you can have a better look of it. Huh. So much for my progress. Um. Metropole's bleak sky. Metropole. This is no. It's no longer up. Some kind of blast crater. Don't you think we should go check? Why? Maybe. Yeah, but where? We can ask him. Maybe T tried it, but Horatio wouldn't talk so to um, to 187th. Hmm. Maybe I see it from here. Metropole's bleaks. Metropole. Metropole. Metro. Okay, let's talk to him. There's nothing more to see. What? No, not a. Oh wait, not a crowbar. I doubt. I know what I have to do with the keycard now. Remember. No need to show him this. There's nothing more. Boves. Boss, I think the gospel requires you to give me a minute. No. Sounds like we need to get into the courthouse and talk to. Boss, we need to make a rocket. But if we did, we could harness the power of. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, after a while he just starts spewing nonsense. Like, I am waiting. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that you are waiting. Where is... where can I... from where could I see... the hole that he blasted into the tower? Does look like something is damaged here. I have nothing to say. 
no, 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 I want to give you this. I'd rather... How would that even work? Huh. Sounds like we need to get into the... Hmm. Other cities. During the Primordium, at least three other great cities existed Civitas, Municipa, and Urbani. Urbani. Little is known about them other than they were all part of World for Cities and are presumed. Now, yada yada yada. Okay, nothing here. From where could I see. Maybe I can send Crispin flying around. Because he can actually fly around the tower, can't he? Do you like this? Not gonna happen. Or... Really? Hmm. Don't you think we should go check out where 187 shot up the tower? Why? Maybe he blasted away in for... Oh, wait. If the War of the Four Cities was rather recent, well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't rather recent. Goliath is <coughs> no, sorry. Goliath is like buried way deep under the sand. War of the Four Cities. At least it's. <laughs> it could read it, even though I ro wrote Steez. War of the Four Cities. Fragmentary data describes a great primordial conflict. Yeah, but we have already... Huh. Arbiter. A rather simple machine built to resolve basically the questions out of the research council appointed by Metromind to lead Metropole. He has not judged cases for a long time. Luckily out of Metromind's superior capacity to guide... Okay. Oh yeah. Hey. I doubt that one. Anyone home? Huh. We've gotta find a way to clear the line because honestly, I'm not even for a power core. Not even well, uh, maybe. Could you what? You know, that puzzle game you installed on me when you built me. <laughs> but look, you have your puzzles, I have mine. No, oh, come on. Hmm. Where could I I don't have anything to say. Oh, okay. Thought I could. Oh, here. Quite a tower. That's weird. Quite a tower. Can't I, like. Wait, if. Why ca can't I see it from here then? I have to stand there to see that? Metropole's Metropole's bleak skyline. Metropole. Metropole. Wait a second. If I'm standing here, I could only look up. So do I need to go into the underworks to watch the lower part of the tower? Oh wait, or can I just move with WASD now? What a tower. Doesn't seem damaged. I have something to... No, I don't. Huh. I have an idea. Press button, my friend. No, I'm not going to scout or reconnoiter uh. or survey. I was just going to say that it was a striking view. Oh, I suppose it is. Okay. Quite a tower. Okay, it won't. Sadly, Crispin has a mind of his own. So, we'll go downstairs. Because we need to see the lower part of the tower. Could you... Let me save there for a second. Just so it's saved. And look around for a little bit. I have nothing. Hmm... So this is underground, is it? No, it isn't. That's a shell. There's nothing. 
effort his best to keep it that way. Don't you think we should go check why? Maybe he blasted a way in for us. But that's not how that works. Because there, there is no way in. Or is there a way in from here? Nothing here. Hmm. It's been complete. I have nothing. No, that's just the skulls. I don't think Clarity would approve of our. That's never good. Wait a second. There's no reason to weld that. I doubt that will. Huh, so once clarity is gone, I can also no, no, don't want to do that. Sounds like we need to get into the courthouse. Let me look at my data pouch, please. Shooting. Wait, what? If I for shooting. Door to the big tower. Was too much damage to the door. Oh, he shut the door. I should read more of my data pouch, apparently. <laughs> okay, let us continue. Do -do 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 -do. Going through the city of Metropole with Crispin. I don't damage at all to this door. It's sealed shut. It's sealed. But there's no damage it's to sealed. it. Even if I can I use this? That's never going. Yeah. It's too thick. It's too thick. It's too thick. Uh copper? Feud. It's sealed. He said he shot the door, but there's nothing here. Can I use this? I doubt that will happen. There's no reason. I have a reason to damage it. Hmm. I do not have the numbers, sadly. There's no damage to the door. That's weird. Okay, let me let me try something out here. For a second. Uh Tower door door damage. Okay, nothing apparently. I just tried to talk to him once more and then I will end the episode and look around for myself. Show him this again. There's, there's nothing. Sounds like we need to get into the courthouse. Boss, do you hear clicking? Some Don't you think we should go check out where 187 shot up the tower? Why? Maybe he blasted a way in for us. Hmm. No, that's just a sun. Courthouse closed until further notice. Okay. I will end the episode here. I will look around for a little bit. Maybe I missed something. Hmm. Well, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Sleepy Droid, and good night.